Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to read the text from any image using the Google Vision Library. So let's begin. We'll create a very simple uh, project as usual. We will name it as uh, probably image to text app. You can name this app anything of course. I'm doing it for Android 12. API level 31. So we'll wait for the uh, environment to load. Yeah, so our environment is loading up. So this will be a kind of OCR app or optical character recognition app. So once it loads up, so we will implement the Google Vision Library in our Gradle file. So we'll go to the Gradle file at the app level. And over here, down here, you can implement uh, the Google Vision Library. So we can just type implementation uh, and then com dot google dot android so this is basically from the play services play services 20.5 no not that ads uh, but i think okay uh, i think this one yeah play services and then vision 20.1.3 so this is the latest one i guess but at the time when you are doing this implementation, you can check which is the latest one and just go for that one. And then click sync now. It may take few seconds to or a few minutes based on your configuration to do this setup. And then second thing which we will do is we will just give the permission to read and write to the external storage memory. So why we will need this is because we will access the uh, images which are stored in the shared uh, directory which is like the picture so images folder and not in the specific app data okay <clears throat> before we do something in our layout i'll also make sure that we get the permission from the user for accessing the external uh, storage so new string and then uh, manifest no no not main activity sorry about that manifest dot permission dot read and what else the other one was light so of course i don't think we need the light permission but since i'm taking it so okay i'll continue but i think in for this particular app we'll just need uh, the read permission yeah okay anyway <coughs> so i think our uh, uh, permissions and gradle is done so we'll go to the layout now so in layout by default we get a text so i think we'll keep it so because we'll use this to print our output so we can just give this some kind of uh, ID uh, identification and that will be fine apart from that we will have a button which will trigger it so we can name this read image a uh, read text from read text from email so I'll just keep it short read text and what else we'll, we'll also implement a plain text to take the input of the file name although I have already downloaded few files in my emulator I'll show you uh, shortly but I'll just, uh, yeah, and we'll make it a little bigger. So that should be fine. So what else? I can probably go for an image view where I'll uh, show the image also which we are reading the text. So this text view will be the output view, output where the, we'll print the text and this will show the image, what the image we are reading and he also i think i'll just give this to so for this the id is image view for this i think i'll change it to something like uh, edit text refactor of course he also i'll do one thing i'll just change it to something like images.jpg so I, I i think i know the one of the file name is this one so i'm just, just using this as a default name but you choose to use whatever the default name you want to choose back into the java code what i will do is i'll just quickly create few private vari uh, variables say for example text view and then what else i will edit text which will be reading the yeah, uh, input from the user and then image view which will we will use to print or to show our image and <clears throat> in the own click method itself one by one quickly we'll do is find view by id r dot id dot text view perfect what else we need is we need edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text 
and image view equals to find view by id r dot id dot image view perfect okay so now if i go further we'll also get quickly a method called button uh, read text so this button okay i will just go back to my layout and quickly associate this button uh, that method to this button using this on click attribute over here perfect so we are back to java code and now our main coding starts so what we'll do is in this method we'll first put a try catch probably it's always a good idea to uh, put a try catch with some exception e and say for example if my logic fails so this should print uh, probably we can use this text view only to set text fail something like that you can use whatever text you want to print now here first and foremost we will create a string variable a string probably the file name or file name so the um, the name of the file or the complete path of the file will be stored here so i'll do one thing i'll hard code here because it's all in the I think download folder so storage slash emulated slash zero slash download yeah so and then we'll append it with the file name which we'll get from user in the edit text dot get text dot to string yeah so here we'll get a file name and now we'll get now we'll convert this uh, file into the bitmap so what we'll do is we'll create a bitmap but for that okay i think one more thing i'll do is i'll just use a small s for storage also i'll go back on top and create a class variable called bitmap yeah because anyway we could have created a local uh, here as well but it's fine yeah uh, bitmap equals to bitmap factory dot decode from file and then the file name we anyway have got above so yeah this will give us the particular image into the bitmap over here and that's what we'll be using but before we do anything we'll just set the bitmap uh, into this image view here perfect and now we will use our uh, google vision uh, import what we have done there in the gradle file so i think uh, if i go back to the gradle file this uh, vision uh, uh, library is what we we have imported so we'll be using text recognizer from there so if it doesn't comes up on its own so just keep on writing it will come up so it will ask you prompt you whether you want to import that package just press alt enter and then that should be fine and then here what you can do is you can just have this text recognizer i'm not sure why it is not coming up but you have text new text recognizer dot builder and context could be this and then build here so this will be creating a text recognizer which will we will use this object to read the frames uh, so we'll create a frame this is also part of uh, by the way uh, the vision toolbox and i'll use frame image or whatever the variable name doesn't matter uh, you can use and then here we'll create a new frame dot builder dot uh, probably what we can do is we can just um, set the bitmap to the image which we'll be reading in this frame so uh, yeah so this particular frame will capture my bitmap so this can also be used for videos by the way so that's why we can use uh, read it frame by frame anyway once we have that frame and then we can use this uh, text uh, recognizer uh, to read this frame so we'll use this sparse array and then the type will be of course the text block so and yeah so again just press alt enter and this text block as far as array this will be a part of text recognizer dot detect and the frame we have anyway got above so this will read or detect the images text from these images and one by one uh, store it in this array so now our job will be just to iterate through this array so we can uh, have some simple for loop and over there what we can do is we can just 
read the one by one all this so text dot size and so one by one we'll iterate through the all the matters which we have read and then we'll store it into the particular one one string variable we can assign here so what we can do is we can just quickly create one empty string variable string string and then uh, image text so whatever the uh, yeah initially we'll assign it as a empty or there will be no text and one by one we'll read from this text blocks from our write it over there i think i missed out putting i equal to zero over here that's why the, it was giving some error anyway so we'll start now so text will create something called text block variable text block and this could read the thing so so we'll use this as pass array and then get and the key will be the index where we want to find it so what we'll do is we'll use, just use text plus and um key add and then the index will be the i what whatever we are just iterating through and once we have this text load then we can uh, write uh, start writing this in the string image text of course we'll append it so no no not the file and we'll use the same string image text plus uh, we'll also give some space because it, it will block so right so we should uh, if we don't give a space it will be like all uh, crowded together and then what we'll use is we, we will use text block and then get value over there i think yeah, that's correct so this should be fine so that's all i guess this will get my output sorry i think i by mistake yeah and once we have everything together what i can do is i can just print this into the text view dot set text and then the set text will be string image text perfect so i think this should be fine it should work i'll just uh, run it in an emulator let's see how it comes up if there's some error or something in the meantime i'll just as usual i'll just make the code a bit more clean here perfect perfect okay so i'll probably give a space here this so this looks good so i'll wait for the emulator to come up my emulator is still loading up so in the meantime just make this size as good yes i think my emulator has come up and app is loading or installing so in the meantime what i can do is let the app come but i will go to the home screen and i'll show that in the pictures folder let it come up so I'll just quickly go to the images and then the pictures folder. I already have few images which I have downloaded and that is what we, we will be using here. So images dot j I think these two pictures don't have any text. So I think these first three pictures is what uh, have some images. Uh, I have some text. So we have file names like images dot jpg and then images dot jpng and then just some weird looking. So I, what I can do is I can also note this file name somewhere here. One six eight six nine seven six dot jpg. Okay, so the third file is this. So there are three files which we'll be playing around with. Let me go back to the app which has come up. Yeah, so it's asking you to allow uh, the access. Of course, allow it. Otherwise, it won't be able to read. And by default, the images dot jpg is there. So uh, yeah, one of the one of our file names was images dot jpg. So we'll just click this button and see what it comes perfect so if you can see this is the image and uh, i'm not sure if it's large enough for you to read the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and day you find out why so that's that's like uh, the famous quote of uh, mark twain uh, yeah and, and, and oh sorry and that's what okay my mistake i'd also like to just zoom it and bring it up like this so yeah that's i think no it's clear, it should be clear to you the other images says sample svg file some from somewhere i have randomly downloaded these images from the internet and these have different fonts and text i mean different colors and all i want to show it works more or less with most of the fonts and uh, text and colors so here it is able to capture what is written that the two most important day in your life are the day blah 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 
So I'll just use some other image probably I'll just change it to PNG and see if it's able to do the job and sample SVG file and I think it's, it's able to do the job and what was the other file name the third file name was okay something here I have taken a note so it's 168.6976.jpg please note you have to give the full extension because in our code we have not uh, done the extension so yeah that's the one of the last image so think positive network will exercise blah 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 so whatever it's written yes it's, it's just uh, able to read and uh, write over there so that's good to know uh, that it's, it's so simple and straightforward so i'll just rerun it once more and see if it works fine it works fine yeah so that's all i wanted to show you it's very easy you have to just create your own text recognizer uh, and then you have to use the frames to detect uh, uh, text in that and then you can export it into something called text blocks and read it one by one so this part of the code is uh, important part for the whole exercise i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel uh, thank you and have a nice day